It was an absolutely wild day for the Mullen community and all Mullen shareholders. This is turning into a movement. And let's show how strong this movement is by commenting down below either Mullen family or Mullen army, because we are both a family driving towards financial freedom, but we are also an army fighting the market makers, the hedge funds, and all these unethical tactics that these market makers are using against the stock Mullen. I will be covering the 22 million short exempts that have to be returned by Wednesday this week and how that could cause a short squeeze and stay all the way to the end of the video for two low float wheat and food stocks that have high potential due to wheat prices skyrocketing. And I also got one oil play you got to take a look at. If you want to buy or sell Mullen, use the Moo Moo link in the top pin comment and you got to deposit $100 and you will also get one free share of NEO and five free stocks. And in all reality, you have the right to actually sell that free share of NEO after getting it and turning it into Mullen stock. So that's actually a way for you to get some free Mullen shares. An amazing day for Mullen as the stock rose 35% on the day and is still moving higher after hours as we speak right now. And I noticed there was a whale buy of 118,000 shares after hours, a big old chunk coming in there after hours. And we're currently sitting at $1.13 after hours. The market cap is 37 million after today's rise. The float is still at 22 million, although it does not seem to trade like a stock at 22 million float. I'm convinced that the float is a little bit higher. It just has not been updated yet, although I may be wrong because I, the reason I say it does not trade like that is because there was 225 million volume on the day. That means 225 million shares traded hands today, and there are only supposed to be 22 million shares available total. And that 252 million volume is 11.5 times the entire float. And today's volume was the second highest volume day for Mullen right behind that 631 million volume day where there was some crazy short exempts on that day that we're going to be talking about in this video. Out of that 252 million volume, 71 million of it was short volume, 2 million of it was short exempt volume, and the short volume ratio was 39%. Mullen was included in a write-up by Yahoo Finance as the 10 penny stocks to buy in March, so that was very bullish right off the bat today at Market Open. It's looking really good right now. The share price is up. The community is strong and growing at a rapid pace. EVs are starting to catch a little bit of fire because of how high oil prices are. And if you saw ticker CENN, it was also running with Mullen today. And when everything is looking good, you know what starts to come out? Bear articles. We've seen it happen with AMC, GME, and every meme stock that caught fire. And here we are doing it again with Mullen. The article is titled after mulling over Mullen Automotive, you surely would choose to avoid it. Mullen stock is an ill-advised wager on cash deficient and unprofitable EV maker. I read through the article, didn't really give anything new. We already knew everything we were talking about. If you really want an explanation of what's going on behind the scenes and inside the filings and the offerings. Check out my video from yesterday, but expect to see more and more articles come out about Mullen, especially if the price continues to rise. The article does go over some solid points about having bad financials, but does not give any details to why this is and what is coming in the future. For example, there was nothing said in the article about the potential $450 million that Mullen could receive from the Department of Energy because the result of an EV study showing the Mullen 5 vehicle is highly competitive against the Tesla Model Y. And because of those results, they're able to go ahead and get that $450 million. Potentially, they're still waiting on it. If they get that, it's going to be a big, big boost in cash for the company. Taking a look at the Mullen chart, today we broke up some strong resistance at the 1.025 level and tested the next resistance at $1.20. We are now trading between the $1.02 and $1.20 range, and we need to hold above the $1.02 range. But if we don't, there is some support at 86 cent. If we don't hold that 86 cent, we could see 72 cents again. But right now we're looking very, very strong. So hopefully we get some more movement to the upside and hopefully we break through the next resistance level. As you know, we are looking for a short squeeze out of Mullen and it's looking more and more promising by the day. Everyone, including myself, is focused on the 22.4 million short exempts that were created on March 1st and are due before the bell on Wednesday, March 9th. 
Well, a short exempt is a short that is exempt from the regulation share requirement, which means they do not need to locate the shares to establish that short position, and they can even short on a downtick. And by definition, a short exempt is the seller owns the shares being shorted, but is restricted from delivering them at the time the short sale order is placed. The shares don't actually have to be available at the time the order is executed, but they still technically own the shares. And there was 20 two million short exempt created on march 1st this is absolutely unheard of this is extreme manipulation and i cannot believe they are able to do this but because they did this they have to return those shares by march 9th keep in mind on that day the float was only 22 million this means they use short exempts on the entire float on march First, the same day, the stock price dropped over 40%. Does that seem like a coincidence to you? Not really at all to me. They have up to six trading days to locate these 22 million shares that they use for short exempt. And they may not be able to locate all of them if retail continues to buy up the float that would be available to the market maker. If they cannot locate those shares by open on Wednesday, then the market maker would have to borrow even more shares and that could over leverage them and overextend their risk. If this happens and they have to cover their shares out of the market, this could create a massive short squeeze, but there is a high chance they just continue to kick the can down the road like they did with AMC and just create synthetic shares or continue to short exempt or just use all these tactics, dark pulls and all these unethical tactics. And in some cases, illegal tactics to drive the share price down, just kicking the can down the road. But it could get very interesting on Wednesday if they are not able to locate these shares. Now, pay attention to these three stocks I have to show you with commodities skyrocketing wheat up 92 percent of the year. You need to look at these wheat and food stocks as a swing play. And I got two for you right here. I did my due diligence on these two. I suggest you start your due diligence on these two. And these are low float, low market market cap and they have a lot of room to move if these wheat and food plays catch fire as they, they are right now. The first one I'm looking at is ticker SVFD at $5 right now, a $2 million float and a $14 million market cap. Next one I'm looking at is RKDA, a $20 million float at a $28 million market cap. Oil plays are soaring and we have been killing it in the private Discord with these plays. We caught a 40% move today on GBR in the Discord. I said at everyone at 1.34 p.m. today, I'm in GBR oil play. We caught that nice little move there. Also keep an eye on ticker CEI. This was a play I called on the channel a long time ago at 50 cent and with oil plays rising rapidly, so is CEI. So keep an eye on ticker CEI and keep an eye on these two wheat and food plays that I just gave to you. Make sure you have the notification bell on, especially the modeling community. I'm going to be bringing out more of, the, more of these videos along with my normal penny stock and OTC videos. Make sure you drop a like, get this video to maybe 2000 likes if we're feeling crazy, comment down below. And that is it for me. Peace.